MTD network at Rotec Engineering in Evesham. Now, as you can see behind me, fantastic machine shop, state of the art, 17,500 square feet of new technology. So let's go inside and have a chat with Paul, the MD. Paul, I have to say, first impressions, absolutely fantastic machine shop just from out the front, but in here as well. Now, what sort of aspects of engineering do you do? We cover all aspects, uh, fixed head, milling, sliding head, um, you know, we're big, quite big on automation. Okay, so first of all then, out of all those, DMG Mori NLX 2500, 700, yeah. fixed head turning? Yeah, absolutely. Although it's on our milling section, which might seem slightly strange, that's because we wanted to specifically program this machine from the um, cam system. And uh, that, that's proved quite a big challenge over the last few years, trying to get our turning fixed head guys to adopt those, um, those methods. So we've actually got our, our milling guy who actually doesn't know how to use this lathe, never had to use a lathe before, purely using solid cam, and that's worked really well. This particular machine is actually been uh, fantastic with that system, and it's been a fairly, you know, relatively painless exercise to get it going, actually. Okay. Now, yeah, Ollie, Ollie runs the machine, he's absolutely raving about them, but more importantly, what's he been making on it? So this is one of the first parts we did, and this was literally straight off the uh, cam system, off SolidWorks, one of our Formula One customers. And uh, yeah, this worked out really well. Uh, great challenge for the machine. Again, straight off the cam system, very, very few tweaks. Uh, I think one of the things when you can tell them when you've got a particularly good machine is when you can go straight from cam and you actually get what's on the, uh, what's on the screen and you put it on the TM and it all measures properly without, you know, without doing too many off offsets, etc. Uh, you know, you know, you've got a good solid bit of kit. Um, you, make it, you make it sound simple. That's, that's your fixed head. I want to hear about some of your milling. So let's go and have a look at the uh, next DMG, Murray. So looking at the machine, I'm thinking full five axis. Yep, yeah, DMU five axis. Uh, we bought this machine initially for prototyping work. Can I just clarify, you bought this machine on a whim, I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did actually. But we did actually buy it on a whim. We do a lot of Formula One work at the time on our fourth axis machines. Thought this would be, thought this would be an easy way of doing it, which it was. But actually what's happened, it opened lots of doors for us because um, we've since then put this robot on it. Now I believe we're, part of, we're, some, we're one of the only companies in the UK doing some contract that's got a five axis machine like this with the ability to do um, lights out running, making complex parts. I've got an example here of a part that we would typically make on this machine, which is a you know, fully five axis machine part, quite complex. Uh, and this here would be loaded through this robot and made all over the weekend. So I'm thinking if you're doing that conventional machine, you, you may have four or five on a, on a clamp vise, whatever, or loading them by hand, quite time consuming, but you can run hundreds. Absolutely, but equally, because this part's got a lot of scanning work on it, it would have to be on the five axis table quite a, quite a long yeah. time. So yeah. typically while the cycle time is quite long, you know, if it short runs of 250 or something, this would be the way, this would be the way to do it, in our eyes anyway. Um, and it's, it's worked really well for us so far. Uh, we're looking at, and obviously, what we learned from this, we're now trying to proliferate across the other machines, buying other robots, uh, and yeah. trying to use the same. So another key to efficiency, keeping that cost down for all the buyers out there. Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. So that's a great example of milling, and that's a full five-axis simultaneous. Absolutely, yeah, full five-axis simultaneous. The only addition with these robots is that we've got the the, the automatic door opener, uh, so the robot takes control of the machine. And I just basically. hasten to add, that's our fault, not because it isn't running properly. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's your milling. I want to see a bit more fixed head because you've got some great Nakamura's as well. So let's go and have a look. Right, Paul, this is your Nakamura. What's this machine? NTRX 300. Uh, so this is a full five-axis simultaneous twin spindle lathe, a quite large capacity machine. This is really all about what we've learned on the full five-axis milling section and using the CAD CAM to program it, program it, program it. We've actually wanted to carry that forward to enable us to uh, use that technology on a more turning type bias machine. So, uh, and, and with a bar feed rather than using the robots. So typically on this machine, we're doing parts that would traditionally would have been made on the milling section, but we're now making them automatically with bar feeds on a lathe, but with this full five axis. 50, yeah. 50 now, you said that twice already, just want to clarify, full five axis on this machine? Yeah, it's got a full five axis head, uh, it rotates 280 degrees, Simultaneous with a, I think it's a 42 position tool changer, cap, uh, Capto 5 tool changer behind it basically. Impressive stuff, but let's see what you can make on it. Well, these are a couple of fairly simple parts actually uh, that we made on the machine. Uh, as you can see, they put a lot of milling work on, uh, mainly milling work on there, but a little bit of boring as well, which has got to be held to close tolerance, which is where the, obviously where the spindles come in, come in um, handy. Uh, and this is like a hardy splicer type joint we do, a, it's a fairly regular job that we do. There's two parts to this, as you can see. 
And again, there's a lot of full five axis uh, scanning work on there, which uh, is all done on this machine. Great stuff, Paul. Now, so we've seen you milling, seen your turn, well, your fixed head turning, the final sort of piece in the whole jig jigsaw to complement it all, bit of sliding head. So, should we go and have a look? Yep, absolutely. Paul, impressive machine job behind us yet. We've got your milling, fixed head turning, and I'm um, Look at that, I reckon you've got some sliding head stuff here. Yeah, yeah, there's 12 sliding head machines, majority stars, um, we, ranging from SV32s down to 10 mil machines at the bottom end here. Okay, and again, I'm spotting here with my extensive knowledge, bar feeds on all of them? Yeah, all full, full three metre bar feeds, so we can run uh, unmanned weekends and nights. Okay, so again, getting towards your uh, engineering Nirvana, so getting full 24 7 lights out machining? Um, well, obviously, that's. Utopia, we don't get all full 24 7, that's what we're aiming for ultimately, uh, and that's the goal. It's just trying to keep working towards that goal basically. Now, this behind us, your latest acquisition, now correct me if I'm wrong, Star SR20 Type J. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we bought this machine at the show actually several months ago. Uh, we were looking for something very quickly, to, we had, we had a, a bit of a hole in our production, uh, and Star actually got this machine, machine installed up and within a week of the show, which is pretty cool actually. Impressive stuff, and I understand it's got HFT, high frequency turning. Yeah, yeah, that's quite a good new technology. It allows us, to, uh, helps us, uh, obviously, uh, running unmanned with the, you know, controlling the swarf. Excellent. But I think again, looking at what you, let's see what you actually make on these machines. So you've got something here you prepared earlier. Well, it's typically, one of the parts we make fairly regularly. This is actually in its finished form. Um, so with this part, we're turning the, 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 the shaft on these machines. We're turning the nut on these machines. We actually manufactured the bending tooling on the um, five-axis milling section where we then bent it on a bending machine and uh, assembled them with a small pin here. And we sent that as a finished assembly to our customer. Paul, again, really impressive stuff. The whole place is fantastic. 25 machines in total? Yep, 25 at the moment, yeah. Okay, and sort of work you're looking for? Um, well, really, we're one of our um, main um, strengths, I think, is our d diversity across the machine shop from quite large parts to small parts. Uh, you know, we've got 17,500 square feet here now, we've got 5,500 square feet upstairs as of yet unutilised, which we're looking to grow into. So um, we've got a, you know, we're just in the process of uh, strengthening our management team and also our team on the shop floor. So, uh, you know, we're looking to expand all the time. Okay, so I'm thinking any buyers out there get in contact with you, you want a challenge, you want any opportunity really? Absolutely, yeah. Anything from small part, you know, small term parts to the... To the, to the to Really, anything where there's, you know, we can we can use the advantage that we've got here in terms of the automation. Paul, thank you very much. Thank you.